Dara everybody, welcome back. Did you have a lovely day yesterday? I wonder if you had a go at playing with some water and making your own funny drinks. If you haven't had a chance to do that yet, maybe you could have a go at that today too. Well boys and girls, this morning we're going to be thinking a little bit more about our tiger who came to Tea Story and I've got an exciting challenge for you. Shall we find out which day of the week it is today? I think we should do our song today, you ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Monday and there's Tuesday. There's Wednesday and there's Thursday. There's Friday and there's Saturday. Then there's Sunday too. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Diane. So we have had Monday. Today is Monday. Tuesday. Diane. What's Tuesday begin with? A t -t 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 Tuesday. Well done. Here's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's still May. Yesterday was day number 18. Have you been practising numbers before and after? Let's think. 16, 17, 18, 19. Well done. So the clue is in the word nine teeth. So it's a one and a nine. Draw an A and down the line. Nine, nine, nine. The 19th of May. Of May. We've still got all our friends with us. Little Al, the astronaut, says she had a lovely day yesterday and she can't wait to find out what we're going to do today. Well, let's see what the toe is like today. We had a very windtog day yesterday, didn't we? Let's see if it's still the same today. Suck my toe with, have you? Hmm. Buru, Ada. Hey, log. Dormis, Halog Agumlog, hmm, Gumlog, Buruglau, Oh, Wintog, Suck my toe with head you. Hmm, now let's just see if we've got any new friends joining us. I'm going to ask you about your name now. Are you ready? Hoi oi Can you ask me? Can you point and say poyoiti? Mrs. Roberts, a we? Poyoiti. Let's find out our new friend's name. Poyoiti. Al, a we? Diane, a Stella, Al. Diane, you. Right, well, this morning, boys and girls, we're going to be thinking about patterns. Because when I was reading our tiger who came to tea book, I was having a look, well this is a really good picture where you can see the pattern. I was thinking about patterns because if you have a look at our tiger there, our tiger's fur has a certain pattern to it, doesn't it? Our skin doesn't really have much of a pattern, but the tiger's fur does. What sort of pattern would you say that was? Yeah, tigers have a stripy pattern on their fur, don't they? We often say tigers have stripes. And it made me start thinking about patterns all around us. So I've got a couple of pictures here and one of these is of the tiger stripes that we were just looking at in our story. So here you go, look. Can you see, we've got two different colours on here. We've got the black and the orange and there's a striped pattern on our tiger's fur, isn't there? I'm going to pop that up on our board just up here. So there's tiger stripes there. And then I was having a look around my house to see if I could spot any stripes anywhere. And guess what? I managed to find loads. The first place I spotted stripes was on my door. Because my doors are made from wood and they've got stripes down them. So I found some on my door. And then I spotted some on my curtains. 
buttons. There was a stripy pattern on there. And then I spotted some on a t-shirt that one of my little boys was wearing. So I saw lots of stripes all around my house in places that I didn't even know they were. So there's our stripy pattern there. Now, thinking about our tiger also made me think about a different big cat. And it made me think about the fastest big cat of all, the cheetah. Because cheetahs don't have stripes. Does anyone know what cheetahs have on their fur? Have a look, right, they have spots. So here is a spotty pattern and this is a picture of some cheetah's fur. So I'm going to pop my spotty pattern up there. And then I had a look around my house to see if there were some spots anywhere. Now there weren't as many spots as stripes, but I did find some. There were some on one of my cuddly toys. In fact, look, there's some here on Laura, the ladybird. She's got some spots, hasn't she? Can you see? A spotty pattern on there and I also found some on a cushion so have a look around your house and see if you can find any stripes and spots like I did and what I'm going to do when I finish chatting with you is I'm going to do this I'm going to go and find exactly where they all are and see if I can write them down on my detective sheet so here I'm gonna line down the middle to separate the two sides and I've got spots on this side and stripes on this side and then each time I find them on something I can either have a go at writing down the word to have a go at writing down c -c -c cushion or I could do a drawing of my cushion or I could do a tick so have a chat with your grown-up and see what you could do but see if you can be a spot and a stripe detective around your house and then when you've done that I thought it would be good fun if we could play a little bit with spots and stripes so I've been out into my garden and I've collected a few bits and pieces. Shall I show you what they are? Okay, right, here we go. So first of all, I found some pebbles out there. And I brought my pebbles inside this one. I really liked, it's one we collected from the beach a long time ago because it's actually already got little spots on it there. So I found some spots on my pebble. And this one, what's on this one? There are some stripes, aren't there? So there's spots and stripes, even on my pebbles. And then I found a few of my plants out there that I thought I could use. If you're going to be picking any of your plants, you must make sure you ask your grown-up. I'm a grown-up, so that's okay. So I thought these would be really good for me to make a stripey pattern. So I'm going to make them a bit smaller, like this. And then I wanted to use a piece of paper and my pen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my stripey pattern, but I'm going to do one green stripe, then one orange stripe, then one green stripe, then one orange stripe, then one green, then one orange, then one green, then one orange. So I've made a stripey pattern with two different colours there. I could glue them down if I wanted, couldn't I? Or take a photograph. And then I thought I could make a spotty pattern. I don't have to write it, do I? I could have a go at just making it on my piece of paper or on my table, using my bits to be the spots. So I'm gonna use my pebbles to be spots. And then I also thought I pulled some of my little leaves off. They could be like spots as well, couldn't they? So I'm making a spotty pattern on my piece of paper here. Spots and stripes. There we go. And you might like to do one with paint. Think a bit later, I might get some paint and dip the bottom of my toilet roll in. Then I could make some circle spotty patterns on a picture or even use my fingers. So have a see what you can do today investigating spots and stripes. Okay, Hoyle Bower. See you soon, bye bye.